What is going on everyone? Platinum Beast coming at you with yet another video. Today we are going to be talking about how to stack Platinum efficiently. So without further ado, let's get into it. Okay guys, so if you are thinking about stacking platinum or you want to stack platinum but you just don't know where to start or how to do it or the best way to do it, well, I am going to give you all some tips on how to stack platinum and how to do it efficiently so that you can not only secure the buying power of your money but also how you can profit the most if profit is something that you are in it for. So without further ado, let's start the discussion on this topic. So first we have platinum bars. Now platinum bars are going to be your lowest, lowest, lowest premium platinum. And that's not always the case with other metals. Um, you know, with silver, rounds and, and bars and stuff is the lowest. With gold, bars a lot of times, sometimes, cost more than coins, uh, just depending on the bar. But in platinum's case, platinum bars are going to be your best overall value and lowest premium. Now, there's two different ways you can stack bars. You can buy loose platinum bars, such as this small 2.5 gram platinum bar that come in a little flip from dealers or you can buy a say platinum bars such as this credit Swiss or Swiss or the Volcambi Swiss as you see here. There are a few different brands of bars you can buy such as Argo Horaeus as well as Pamp Swiss. Those are really your four main bars um, in regards to platinum. There are some other brands but for the most part, that's what you're going to get as far as bars. There are also one ounce platinum coins, which can be had for fairly decent premiums, such as this 2020 Eagle. Now, the Eagle is a collectible coin, so to speak, because its mintage is low and things like that. But generally speaking, platinum coins can be had for low premiums so long as you are going for low premiums and do not care about which coin it is at any given time. One ounce bars are another great option to stack in regards to platinum so that you can stack the most efficient way possible. One thing I want to note is fractional coins can sometimes have premiums attached to them that are substantially higher than the spot price, sometimes even double. At the current time, these Platinum Britannias, which are one-tenth ounce coins, go for around $130, 140 maybe even $150, $150, when spot price is only $900, $950. So that's close to double spot price. So if you are trying to stack Platinum as efficiently as possible, I would say shy away from the fractional coins as much as possible. Although they are cool to collect and stack, they are going to hold back your overall weight if you are stacking platinum based on weight and not collectability. Platinum has a strong collectability tied to it. So if you're going for that, more power to you. But this video is specifically talking about how to stack platinum the most efficient way possible. Another thing I want to point out with bars is the smaller the bar, the higher the premium. The larger the bar, the lower the premium. The lowest premium platinum of any kind, any form, any shape, anything is going to be your one ounce platinum bars. A full ounce of platinum in bar form is going to run you the lowest premium almost always. Sometimes you can find deals especially from private individuals, 
but for the most part from big dealers and local coin stores and things like that, one ounce platinum bars are going to be your absolute bottom dollar premium when it comes to stacking platinum. So with all that being said, I hope you enjoyed this video talking specifically about how to stack platinum the most efficient way possible. As you can see, I have many different pieces and many different forms. Some of them I paid high premiums on, some of them I paid low premiums on. Some of them I bought when spot price was low, and since the increase, at least right now, in spot price, I have even made money on them as far as my overall holdings. So really guys, at the end of this video, I just wanna mention that you can't really go wrong stacking any form of platinum. One thing as a bonus tip I want to advise you on is just perhaps keep track of what you spent on each piece so that way you can secure, number one, the buying power of the platinum, and number two, potential profits of platinum, and you can avoid potential losses when it comes time to sell or if the need to sell ever arises. Because as everyone knows, you never know what the future holds, and if there's anything we can learn from this year, that statement is extremely true. So with all that being said, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video again. Be sure to check out my other videos. And until next time, guys, we will see ya.